Hello, art students. Today we're going to learn about a landscape. A landscape is a picture of the land. Okay, those two words together. Scape is a picture of. Land is what it's the picture of. A landscape. Okay, so you might have things like mountains, valleys, forests, maybe even rivers, not oceans, though. That would be a seascape. Okay, so anything that is included in the land, okay, a landscape. All right, some examples of landscapes. Um, this one by Vincent Van Gogh. Okay, see that is a picture of the outside world. This one by Beverly, Beverly Buchanan. Okay, so it's a picture of the outside world. I'm going to show you a simple landscape painting technique with watercolor. Okay, so watercolor is um, easily found in most stores. Um, Walmart has most of the time you can find some watercolor. You're going to need probably a placemat of some kind to keep the paint off your table because you're going to be painting the entire page. Okay, so this is what you might call a watercolor wash. Okay, you're going to use a lot of water and horizontal strokes. So here's some examples of some I've already done. Okay, so I want you to give this a try. You have the land and then the sky, and it fills the entire page. The sky comes all the way down to the ground. Okay, students want to draw a little blue strip up here, and then there's some kind of empty oblivion between the sky and the land, okay? So, sorry. So there's not an empty space. It comes all the way down to the ground. Okay, so to get started, you have a placemat. You have a very thick piece of paper, boys and girls. This is cardstock paper. You can purchase watercolor paper, but it's very expensive, okay? Um, you probably want to just maybe get some cardstock, um, some very thick paper, okay? Now, and I don't ever suggest you doing watercolor paintings on an easel. Okay, you want to keep it flat because watercolors will run um, intentionally. You want your watercolor to be very watery. Okay, it's a watercolor wash. Okay, so you've got <clears throat> your water, your paintbrush, and your watercolor. All right, you're going to start with a horizon line. Notice how I'm twirling my brush in the paint. I'm not standing it straight up and down and getting my bristles like this, I want to keep my bristles straight. Okay, so I am twirling, okay, to load my paintbrush. I'm going to do this quickly because I don't want it to run, but you're going to start with the horizon line, okay? Horizon line is pretty common in any landscape, whether it's a mountainous scene that you see on the horizon. Um, where we live, we see lots of mountains in the horizon. I love that. I love the mountains. Okay, but I'm just going to do a simple watercolor wash. Now notice I'm going um, <clears throat> to the wash tub every time, okay, I get more water, every time I get more paint, okay. That keeps your watercolor very watery and notice how it water paint. That keeps your watercolor very watery and it will spread for you more easily. Water, paint. Okay? Now notice how I'm using horizontal strokes. That is important. Okay? Um, so I've just, just used green. Now you can add maybe just a little brown for a little bit of dirt color in your grass, but I would use lots of water with it so it's not too intense of the brown. Okay, maybe even more water. Water, 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 water color. Okay, so I'm gonna use, see how that kind of got dark, but if I spread it out, water, paint, okay? If I spread, 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 
then it's gonna keep it not so intense, okay? The more water you have, the lighter the color. Okay, instead of going to the water this time, I'm gonna go straight to the paint. It's got a lot of water in it, but I wanna show you the difference. And plus, sometimes in a, a landscape, what's farther away up here, it might be a little darker. Ah! Go fast. So see how that is a little bit darker? I'm gonna go straight to the paint, and that's gonna make my color darker. See that? And that's not such a bad thing if you want it to be darker, okay? But I've used the entire page, okay? And I've used lots of water. I went to the water every time, okay? <clears throat> now I'm gonna do the sky. So I got water, and then I'm gonna go twirl it in the blue, all right? So I've loaded my paintbrush. And I'm going to go horizontal strokes for my sky, okay? I'm going to use the entire page as a good artist does. Now, I'm always telling you to go slow. I'm going kind of quickly because I don't want it to run. <laughs> you want to leave your watercolor paint uh, painting flat. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of running. Unless that's what you want. Water. Paint. Okay? Make sure you get water every time, unless you're trying to get a very dark color. Okay? And you may want to add... Now, I've got a clip up here, so I've got to go around it. And I did trip. But... The nice thing about watercolor is you can kind of wash it off if you do it quickly. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of purple in my sky. You might use a little bit of red, a lot of water. Okay, make sure you get lots of water, more water. Lots of water so your color is not really intense. You probably want your sky to be mostly blue, but if you want a little bit of color, those beautiful shades sometimes we see in the sky. Okay, maybe just a little red. I'm going to get lots of water. 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 Um, so, so it's not bright red. I don't want bright red in my sky. Know what they say about bright red skies. Now, if I rub too much, I'm going to start to, my paper's going to start rolling up with me. Okay, so I don't want to rub, 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 rub. This isn't watercolor paper. Watercolor paper is pretty expensive, and you're going to have to go to a, likely go to an art supply store to get watercolor paper. But it will work better if you get really interested and you like these watercolors then you might want to try to get you some watercolor paper, but uh, cardstock works pretty good, okay? So now we have a basic landscape. I have horizon lined. I've went horizontally across my page, and I've got land and sky, okay? Remember, a landscape is a picture of the land. It's a picture of the outside world, okay? Uh, mountains, valleys.